right, folks. As you know, we had a little bit of a rough start to the year. We had our anchor line break. We had to retrieve our anchor out. And we had to and we had to catch Emoya out of the sand and get her back to her anchorage, which was a great learning experience. But now it was time for us to enjoy the water. Hello, folks, and welcome to Windward to Eden Sailing with Parker, Isabella, and Quentin. We are the Delot family aboard sailing vessel Yemoya. Join Candace and I and our kids as we learn to repair the boat, learn to sail, and attempt to reach our goal becoming live aboard world cruiser. And don't forget folks, while you're here, if you like our channel and you wanna help us out, don't forget to drop your anchor on that subscribe button. Now let's get to the video. You like what you're seeing? A good way to support our channel is to drop your anchor on that subscribe button. But before we could go out and enjoy the water ourselves, we had one more thing to do, one more project. That was to help our friend Dennis get an engine mounted on his O'Day 25 and get his boat rigged, mast stepped, and out in the water. You can see me here helping him as he filled up the holes that the bolts are going to go through for the engine mount, the tilt mount. Uh, kind of wetting my finger, doing it the easy Good. way, drying it off on a towel to make sure that the silicone that we were put in wasn't going to make too much of a mess. Bottom right. All right. Ready whenever you are. How's that looking? Keep going? Nope. I'll get there. that look? Here, it's, it's hanging there. It ain't going to go nowhere. Let's Come on over and look. Uh, just a little bit my way, but I'm talking quarter inch. Okay. Is that too much? Too much. Boy, that is pretty. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Little little guys and and nine year olds and they just would when horses are relaxed they lick and chew like that and they drop their heads down they and Denny was like this is a party this is so great all these people in my pasture oh my gosh and I was like oh my thank goodness because they were feral wild horses when kind of when we got them so they're really good. And I'm super happy. I gotta tell you, it was nice putting up a mast with somebody who knew what he was doing. We did have a few extra guys of help than we usually have for putting up our mast. And as you can see, one of the gentlemen who's a summertime islander here and has his own sailboat here has one of those uh, mast raising tools that he built, which is really nice. Thinking about building one of those myself. But a lot of times here on the island, everything's a community effort. That's what keeps our costs down and our fun up.
gonna go backwards. Now Dennis also keeps the side rigging that stays there and he keeps the back stay attached. So all he has to do is attach the fore stay and tighten everything up where it needs to be. And with all this help done, it was time for us to take our trip, our first sailing family trip of the year. And we decided to just go anchor in Indian Harbor off of uninhabited Garden Island. There we are, trying to get ready for our trip. And there's Unsinkable 2. So folks, our truck's broken. We need upper and lower ball joints. Kids are gonna hold on there. They're gonna go ahead and dinghy out to the boat with the first round of supplies that we're, we're putting on there. 
There goes unsinkable too. Like I said, our truck's in the shop. But hey, there's a will, there's a way, isn't there? This is one of the reasons we live on an island, folks. We'll get out sailing regardless. I wish we had wind. <laughs> you wanted to relax and sail? I did. Did you get your wheels? About two more okay. knots of wind would make me happy. We're still going forward. Not very fast. We're not even registering on our tachometer or whatever. Ooh, I my or my wrist. Look at that sailboat. Cutter. Now I'm gonna to have to tell you, we really didn't record much. Uh, we started to, we brought the cameras, we had a couple videos that we were gonna present you guys in a couple directions, but the kids really wanted to just have some time without the video cameras and enjoy, well, just just enjoy the day. Good enough? Are they in there good enough? I think so. You have them in right? And enjoy the day we did. So much so that we ended up just staying the night. And we stayed the night on the hook, which was the first time for Candace and Isabella. But it was a gorgeous night. There was nobody else in the harbor the entire evening. It was a beautiful sunset. It turned out to be a beautiful sunrise, a lazy day the next day. And the stars that night. I woke up the kids at about midnight to come out and see the stars. And the stars were, oh, what would be a good word for it? You know? I'm not sure if there is a word that I can describe what the stars look like. I hadn't seen stars like that since I lived in Wyoming. How's it feel on your feet? Just get in. <laughs> well, I'm glad he didn't roll back. I we, I'm trying. The boat is following him. So I do want to apologize for not having much on the video of our first sale of the year, but the kids just kind of didn't want to worry about the cameras and everybody just wanted to relax. We had had a really, really, really busy spring between graduation and all the tourists that flooded our island like a bunch of screaming banshees because of the coronavirus thing. And we just wanted the overnight to relax, kick back, and just enjoy each other as a family. But yeah, even though we didn't get a lot of filming of it, we did get a chance to go out, spend some great quality time as a family, relax, recharge our batteries, and we even got some time to hang out on the beach when we got back to the island with my parents, the kids' grandparents who had come to see us. Oh, and by the way, I just couldn't help to show you all these little baby turkeys. They're so cute!
thanks for watching and thank you for all your support. Make sure you like and comment and make sure you drop an anchor on that subscribe button.